Hey there, fellow van builders. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the van teacher, Jason Sickle. And I'm Rachel. In today's video, we wanted to share what we think is the best layout and design for an adventure camper van. Whether you plan to use your van for extended off-grid camping trips, or if you are more of a weekend adventurer, this video will give you plenty of ideas to consider when planning your camper van build. Let's get right to it. When planning your van's layout, the first thing you should think about is how you will be using your van. This could range from full-time living off-grid to using your van part-time as your remote office or your weekend getaway adventure vehicle to using it to haul your friends and family in all of their camping gear. You may need to build in some flexibility so that one weekend you could be mountain biking in the desert and the next week skiing up in the mountains. No matter what your adventure needs are, we've put together some basic layout ideas to help you get started with your design. The next step is to decide how you want to allocate space and prioritize your needs. Make a list of items you need to have in your van. Things like bicycles, ski equipment, paddle boards, and climbing gear can take up a lot of space and need to be carefully fitted into your design. You may even want to start with some of the largest items and design your van around their dimensions. For example, bicycling is a huge part of our life and we often like to travel with anywhere from two to four bikes. We need a space to securely store our bikes inside the van. One of the first measurements I marked on the floor was the length of my bike arranged how I would be storing it in the garage area. This length then determines the length of the garage, which affects the kitchen galley and sitting area. The height of my bike determines the height of the garage, which in turn sets the height of the bed and sleeping area. Essentially, the van was designed around the bikes. Once you have an idea of how you plan to use your van and the type of equipment you'll be carrying with you, you need to plan where you will store everything without giving up too much of your living space. One of my favorite parts of the van is the garage area under the bed. This area includes all of the utilities such as the electrical system and the water system, as well as a place to organize and store your equipment. Your garage should be made with durable, water-resistant materials. While you could spend a lot of money on high-end materials and finishes, I prefer to use easier to source materials like outdoor carpeting for the walls and laminate flooring. Try to utilize every inch of storage space for things like air compressors, tools, spare parts, extension cords, first aid kits, etc. Install good lighting and add plenty of tie-down anchor points for securing gear. Consider a slide-out tray for easier access for bikes and gear. We also installed a spray port to shower off, wash mac, and clean gear. Don't forget to make use of the back doors for additional storage, and as an added bonus, they serve as privacy doors when showering in the back. Now that we've covered the garage area and adventure gear storage, let's move into the living areas of your van. You need a place to sleep, store and prepare food, a place to hang out, and a place to sit. If you're designing the rest of the van around the dimensions of the garage, many of the layout decisions are already made. The easiest space to design is the sleeping area. If you're under six feet tall, you can sleep sideways rather than along the length of your van because a side to side bed gives you much more room up front. You may want to even consider installing a bump out to give you a few more inches to make it work. We are both under five foot seven, so sleeping side by side is quite comfortable. Our bed dimensions are the same as the garage below, which just happens to be a full size bed. If possible, make sure you can sit up without hitting your head and try to find a good balance between headroom and garage height. 
As for storage above the bed, we find having large cabinets above our feet doesn't have much of an impact on our sleeping space, while having anything above your head makes the area feel more cramped and is not a great idea. Other sleeping area considerations are lighting, ventilation, and charge ports for your devices. We chose to locate the vent fan directly above the bed for sleeping comfort. This location makes it easy to dial in just the right temperature. A couple of lights on a dimmer switch above the bed and strip lights under the cabinet provide plenty of light for reading and getting dressed and a dual USB charge port on each side of the bed is nice for keeping phones charged all night. The most functional part of your van design will be your kitchen galley. This compact version of your home kitchen will include a sink, stove, refrigerator, storage drawers, and counter space. You can locate the kitchen on either side, but having installed our current kitchen on the passenger side, this is now my favorite option for several reasons. The opening for the sliding door is plenty wide, allowing you to extend your kitchen galley about two feet into this space and opens up your kitchen to the outdoors. You can even utilize the back side of the galley by adding a folding table for outdoor dining. Locating the cooktop in the door opening provides plenty of ventilation. Having a large upright refrigerator gives us lots of room for storing cold drinks and a week's worth of fresh food. The dimensions of the refrigerator determine the overall height and width of the kitchen. We then placed a large deep sink in the center of the kitchen and a bank of drawers on the far end for storing utensils and cooking gear. A design tip when planning your water system is to locate all of your plumbing on the same side of the van. That way you're not running water lines across the floor or under the van. We installed a 20 gallon water tank in the back of the van above the passenger side wheel well. If you are planning to camp in below freezing weather, be sure to keep all of your plumbing on the inside of the insulated shell and design the system to be easily drained and winterized. The other main component of your design will be a sitting or dining area. This could be a small dinette for two or a bench seat or sofa for a few. You may even want to incorporate the front seats by installing swivels to open up the van and add seating. A design that is flexible can give you multiple options for locating a table and can easily convert into additional sleeping areas and extra storage. We currently have a bench seat that seats two to three with storage underneath. The lagoon table can pivot to the front seats or be moved to the kitchen galley for extra counter space. Other major design considerations when building an adventure camper van are soundproofing and insulation, your electrical system, and your choice of materials for the walls and floor. Soundproofing your van before insulation certainly helps with sound, but also adds mass and durability to the body panels. Your van will be less prone to dents and dings from frisbees, footballs, or falling bikes. A well-insulated van will stay cooler in the hot sun and warmer in the winter without the need for complex heating and cooling systems. If you plan to be off-grid for days on end, you will want to size your electrical system accordingly. Our mid-sized 200 amp hour system can easily support us for weeks in the wild and is more than enough for most of our power needs. If you want to learn more about our electrical system, check out my videos on each individual charging component or my complete overview video on DIY electrical systems. When selecting materials for your walls, ceiling, and floor, choose high quality, durable, and easy to clean products. We used Marathon Tweed fabric with a foam underlay for the walls and ceiling and Lawn Seal marine grade flooring. A few additional tips to leave you with. Install power outlets everywhere. 
including in the garage, inside cabinets, under the seats, and above the kitchen counter. Put in dual USB, USB-C, and 12 volt sockets to power or charge all of your devices. You may be running air compressors for paddle boards and bikes, or chargers for cameras, computers, and drones, so make sure you can easily plug in. Add tie-down anchors throughout the van for securing extra gear, bikes, pets, coolers, or whatever else you're packing along. The Ultimate Adventure Van will get you to your destination, allow you to bring all of your gear, and let you live outside while having some of the basic comforts of home. If your goal is to spend more time outside, then let your van be the tool that enables you to enjoy these outdoor adventures. If you would like to learn more about van conversions, check out my videos on electrical systems, including installing solar power, DC to DC chargers, shore power, and choosing the right wire size. If you would like to know how much we spent on our van, check out my video on how much our 2023 Ram Promaster costs to build. Also, check out the links in the description below for more information on any of the products mentioned in this video. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below.